in this video i'm going to discuss a few analytical ability questions that are asked in amazon's lmaq assessment test so let us start with the first question study the following table and answer the following question the first row of the table has the names of the subjects the first column has the names of the students the question is the average marks in maths for all the students is what percentage of marks of kuldeep in physics when we observe the table kuldeep got 50 in physics and let's calculate the average we all know that average is sum of the observations by number of the observations so considering the marks of all the students in maths 55 45 100 plus 35 135 plus 25 160 this gives us 40 which is the average marks in math for all the students so if we read the question once again and interpret the data 40 is what percentage of marks of kuldeep in physics what percentage of marks of kuldeep in physics kuldeep got 50 marks in physics this gives us when 2 goes this side it becomes 80 hence option a is the final answer let's move on to the second question which figure follows the series so when you observe this keenly this is a very easy question the first one has three sides which means it is a triangle it is increased by one side in the second figure and increased by one side so triangle square pentagon hexagon heptagon and what comes after heptagon it is octagon the one which has eight sides hence option d is our final answer read the following information and answer the questions given below this is a type of data interpretation question you need to take data aside there are four friends a b c d one of them is a cricketer and studies chemistry and biology after reading this we understand that there are three parameters in this question one is people second one is games and third one is subjects they study a and b play football let us take the names of the students a and b play football i am considering football as f both football players study maths they study maths d is a boxer d is a boxer one football player also studies physics either of them studies physics the boxer studies maths and accounts he studies maths and accounts all the friends study two subjects each and play one game each so we this we missed this point one of them is a cricketer and studies chemistry and biology so c is the only person who is left c is a cricketer and studies chemistry and biology now that we have taken all the data let's look at the question how many games are played and subjects studied by four friends so when we look at the games column we have football cricket and boxing so there are three games and maths chemistry physics biology accounts so there are five subjects hence option d is the final answer
One evening, there are four friends, A, B, C, D, were playing chess, sitting on four sides of a square table. So, this is a square table and four members are sitting here. A shadow was to his left. Imagine sun rises from east to west. So, when it is in the east, suppose A is here, when the sun is in the east, A shadow will be to his right. Imagine A is facing south direction. And in another scenario, when sun is to the west, a shadow will be to his left. And there are no other possibilities for this case. So A must be sitting here. according to the data and C was sitting to the left of D who had his back towards east so D had his back towards east these are the directions south so C is to the left of D then in which direction B is facing obviously B is facing towards east. Hence, option A is the final. Thank you. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe so that I can do more videos on this topic.